हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ मी अनुराग अग्रहरी आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड वेल एंड डूइंग वेल इन योर स्टडीज़ टू स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो इज़ द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज़ नेटवर्किंग कॉन्सेप्ट इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एंड इट्स कॉम्पोनेंट्स एडवांटेजेस ऑफ नेटवर्किंग नेटवर्किंग मीडिया एंड टाइप्स ऑफ नेटवर्कस In this part of video, we are going to discuss about the protocols, networking devices, and networking terminology. So let's start. Be ready with your pen and paper. What is a protocol? Let me explain you. the set of rules which determines how data will be transferred over the network are called protocols protocols are the certain rules which decides how the data will be transferred over networks how the data will be compressed how the data will be presented on the screen and so on there are many other protocols each one governing the way a certain technology works hence the basic need of protocols is to standardize the processes and ways of communicating over a computer network let us learn about the most common protocols and their unique features smtp simple mail transfer protocol it is the most common protocol used for sending emails between two or more servers it is generally used to send messages from a mail client to a mail server the messages are then retrieved by the email client http hypertext transfer protocol this protocol determines how different forms of information that is text images sound videos and other multimedia files are get transferred to your screen over the internet This protocol also defines what actions web servers and browsers should take in response to various commands. FTP file transfer protocol. File transfer protocol is a standard internet protocol. It is one of the simplest and easiest way to exchange files between two or more computers on the internet using FTP client and FTP server softwares. IMAP and POP IMAP stands for Internet Message Access Protocol and POP stands for Post Office Protocol These are the two most popular internet standard protocols for retrieving emails The utility of IMAP or POP protocols varies with respect to their uses in different environments When configuring an email application it is essential to specify both the sending protocol that is smtp and the receiving protocol that is pop or imap tcp ip transmission control protocol internet protocol it is a suite of communication protocols used to connect various computers on the internet it provides end to end data communication specifying how data should be broken into pieces called packets transmitted and routed from one network to another until they reach their destination tcp ip is a combination of two separate protocols that is tcp and ip the ip protocol provides a sequence number to each of these packets so that they might reach their destination in correct order also it handles the addressing of each packet so that it is delivered to the correct destination now let us know about some networking devices the devices which are used to establish a network and which are responsible for the good performance of the network in this category we have the following devices a hub 
a switch a bridge a router cables repeaters modems let us know them one by one hub a hub is a networking device that is used to connect multiple computers and computing devices directly to the network by using cables each connection is called a port the connections are established using a fiber optic cable when the hub receives data at one of its ports it disturbs the data to other ports in the network typically a hub sends all the data it receives to all the connected ports switch switches contain many ports to connect different network segments they are similar to hubs but offer greater performance when a network contains a large number of devices switches are needed instead of hubs to maintain the speed of the communication between devices unlike hub a switch is aware of the addresses assigned to each of its port and sends the incoming data it receives only to the intended port modem a modem enables you to connect your computer to the available internet connection over the existing telephone lines it converts the digital signals of a computer into analog signals to enable their transmission via phone lines at the destination the receiving modem further converts the analog signals into digital signals so that the data can be understood at the receiving end modems are available in two categories that is internal modem and external modem an internal modem comes as a separate part that is installed on the pci slot available on the motherboard and an external modem is connected extremely externally to a computer routers a router is a communication device that is used to connect two different networks such as two lans or a lan and a wan it plays a vital role in controlling the traffic and keeping the network efficient it chooses the best route for the data packets to be transmitted at the receiver's end bridge a bridge is a repeater with add-on functionality of filtering content by reading the addresses of the source and the destination it is used to interconnect two lans working on the same protocol and provide communication between them it also prevents unnecessary traffic from entering the network and reduces congestion cables about the cables i explained all types of cables in the first part of the video you can please refer to that part networking terminology students while working on a network there are many terms encountered related to the network like internet internet refers to network of networks the internet is a global wide area network that connects computer systems across the world it provides a variety of information and communication facilities it consists of interconnected networks which communicate via standardized communication protocols intranet a network private to any organization intranet is a computer network within an organization used to share files and resources of the organization to sharing the private information of an organization cannot be accessed by any outside person as it is protected by a firewall for example the employees of an airline are interlinked with each other through the intranet so that they can access and modify booking and flight data but the same information cannot be accessed by any outside person. bandwidth the amount of data that can be transmitted in a fixed amount internet service provider isp an organization providing internet connections 
to the users. The facility is provided to the customers in exchange for a fee. Some common ISPs providing internet service in India are BSNL, Airtel, Reliance, Sifi, etc. Website A website is a collection of related web pages containing images, videos or other digital media. A website is identified by a same domain name which is the address of the website. These pages are written in hypertext markup languages and can be accessed by the internet. Web page A web page is written using HTML and is stored on a web server. This page is a special page which can be viewed in a web browser. A web browser is a special application to view the web pages. For example, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, etc. The first website is called home page this page contains the main information about a website along with the links to the other parts of the website link a link or a channel that connects two devices in data communication a link is a line or channel that connects two devices data is transmitted between the connected devices through this channel Hyperlink A hyperlink is an image, audio, video, graphics or text that connects one web page to another web page or to another section within the same page. Hypertext Hypertext is a text with a special feature of linking to other documents or web pages. It can be easily identified on a web page as it appears with an underline and is usually in blue color. URL Uniform Resource Locator It is the unique address of a web page or a website. To open a web page, its URL is entered in the address bar of a web browser. For example, www.divinepublicschoolmohanapur.com IP Address A unique set of numbers which is provided to each computer. It is a 32-bit numeric address containing a set of four numbers which varies from 0 to 255 and is separated by periods. It can also be used to access the web page instead of typing the domain name. DNS Domain Naming System A unique name given to each website or resource connected to the internet. Let's have the recap of the whole chapter. A computer network is defined as a group of computers and peripheral devices. Peripheral devices are other hardwares like printer, scanner, web camera, etc. A computer network has two types of computers, a server and a client. The server is the master computer which fulfill all the requests given by the clients like printing a document, opening a file, saving a file, etc. Networking in computers bring efficiency, economy and effectiveness in an organization. Data can be transmitted without wires or with wires. The wires used for transmitting data are Ethernet cables, coaxial cables and fiber optic cables. The wireless technologies are Bluetooth, radio waves, Wi-Fi, microwaves, etc. PAN, LAN, CAN, MAN and WAN are types of networks. PAN is the smallest network type 
and when is the largest network type protocols are certain set of rules deciding how the data will travel from one point to another bluetooth is a communication technology that uses low power radio waves to connect devices fiber optics is a popular technology that has a larger capacity to transfer data at high speed so students i hope you have understood the topics well please revise it note down the important definitions and have a good day thank you students